The World Bank has demanded debt transparency as a crucial step in country's development process. It estimates that external financing needs in Nigeria and other low-income developing countries will reach $429 billion between 2023 and 2025. It added that transparency would facilitate new investments, improve accountability and help reduce corruption. This was stated in its report titled Transparency in Developing Economies on Wednesday. It marked the first comprehensive assessment of the globe and national systems for monitoring sovereign debt. The countries include Kenya, Honduras, Rwanda, Kosovo, the Gambia, Chad, Nepal and Nigeria. And still in business, the House of Representatives Committee on Customs has recommended the suspension of Ecobank PLC from collecting all custom duties on behalf of customs until the bank remits all outstanding of uh, 4.4 billion naira it presently owes uh, the customs. The recommendation is coming after months of deliberations between Ecobank PLC uh, management rather on ways to remit the said amount to the federal government coffers. The committee was tasked with the responsibility of verifying and reconciling all revenue receipts and remittances of customs duties and excise levies for the period of January 2009 and December 31, 2019. It invited all the banks to proffer ways to remit the unaccounted monies back to the consolidated revenue account of the federal government. But after months of deliberations, the hammer fell on Ecobank PLC for failure to convince the committee that it is ready to remit over 4.4 million naira it owes, and also for its failure to submit financial report of its legacy bank, the defunct Oceanic Bank, it acquired. The committee recommended the suspension of Ecobank PLC from collecting customs duties till further notice. We will not invite you for this exercise again. We are taking a final decision based on what is outstanding against you. As I told you when all of you were here, I had a meeting with the CGC and the agreement is that all these banks that are owing, we should suspend them for some time from collection of duty, pending the time they are able to clear all this outstanding against them. Over the 14 banks like Zenith Bank, Polaris Bank, Fidelity Bank and others were, however, given one week to tidy up their books and remit monies owed of face suspension like Echo Bank. As of January 2020? 2019. Oh, 2019, yes. So we, as of December 31st, 2019, there is nothing, not a single problem outstanding against Stratos, uh, sorry, Keystone Bank. And it's a matter of time, sir. We asked for three weeks, Chris, and I believe that with three weeks, we'll get it out for them, sir, to review. We got a, an information that the initial one was not in tandem with what was requested. That's the format. So we had to pull all over, and then we sent to the auditor. In response to the schedule given to us, we made submission to the consultant, giving them detailed information on remittances of majorly all the items listed against the bank as unremitted. The committee adjourned to reconvene next week for its final report before submitting it to the House for further legislative action. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.